I haven't nearly filled my potential. I have so many things that I can keep improving, and those things excite me so much. So as long as I see potential to improve, I get so excited to show up to the gym. I'm like, I can get better at this. So after last season, I made a lot of changes and I started working with Yami Tikkanen with the training plan and training with Annie and BK and it was just an opportunity for me to move back home and get to do what I love doing most here and have a coach here. So Yami moved to Iceland also. So we now have a coach here in Iceland, an incredible training team um, and I get to be home. I've been away for oof, probably eight years now, eight or nine years, and it's been a long time, and my sister has two little girls now. Um, my grandpa just turned 80, and I don't want to miss like those first years, and my grandpa is so alive, and I love, my grandpa is one of my favorite per people in this entire universe, so I love getting to spend time with him, and I don't want to miss that. So the transition was actually more challenging than I think I anticipated. And at the start, like I've had my same routine and same focus environment for so long. And then I come home and I realize I don't have a routine here and I don't have a set up environment here. Um, so that's something that I had to figure out and create here. I had to figure out like, okay, where do I or how do I do my nutrition well here? Um, we still train 9 to 11 or 12 and like 1 to 3 or 4. Um, I eat pretty much the same. I try and sleep the same. I do my same warm-ups, same go wad. But then the team and the coach is different and I have a lot more, like I have so much family here um, and my best friends in the entire universe. So. Those things can also be a distraction because they pull me away from my training and um, my sleep or my nutrition. It's very, very, very soul filling, but that's one of those things that I've had to find a better balance of. Hi, Dulamine. What's the cura there? What's the cura? So, Yami is really funny. I feel like people don't know that he is so funny and his, his character is amazing. But he is also extremely detail oriented and everything that I do has been analyzed and it still is in every movement and down to what are my eyes doing, how is my brain functioning on this, what is my focus, what am I physiologically doing, all of these things and they all add up. I am so willing to learn and I so want to learn from him. I have so much respect for him as a coach and what he's done with Annie and BK so consistently throughout the years. And with Catherine, she is always asking, okay, why are we doing this? And what are we gonna do? And she's always very, she's very involved in the process uh, of training. And she always wants to know and make sure that, you know, this is the thing that we're doing and she understands why we're doing the exercises that we're doing. So it's both demanding and then very rewarding as a coach to have that relationship. I think she can be extremely focused on her goals. She can be extremely focused um, on the moment uh, to the work that we are, we are doing. She's always seeking to understand uh, what's going on in the session so that she can make the most out of it. I think that intentionality is really her biggest trait. I was born competitive and I just want to compete against the next person. And I love that thrill, like when it gets really hard, that's you have a choice. You have a choice to either let off or you can lean into that. And like, what is that person gonna do? And what's so fun about training with Annie too is that she's the kind of person that leans into it. So you cannot let off the, the foot of the gas pedal and that leaves you with such a feeling of success. We've all seen the game face at the games when Catherine is competing. That Katrin, yeah, unstoppable. I think that this season for Katrin is going to be challenging in training so that we can enjoy the competition, so that we can show the Katrin that she can be when it comes to the games. My goal for this season is to maximize every single day. I, that's something that I've always tried to do 
is give my very best today. And I know that if I give everything that I have to what I'm doing right now, and then everything that I have, I focus on my nutrition and my sleep and recovery, and I do it again tomorrow, I know that when I'm on, my, on the starting mat and I give full effort, I will be happy. My name is Katrin Davis-Sauter, and I am ready for the 2022 season.